No, the first visit mm -hmm. of an Asantehini mm -hmm. to Anglo mm -hmm. took place in 1865. 1865. Yes, mm -hmm. and it was done by Kwaku Dua I the first. The first. You know, we have Chuman, Chukobina Manti, Otiakete, Obiri, Ebwa. Do you know that song? Yeah, yeah. You don't know the song, <laughs> but I know it. <laughs> so Kwakudwa the first came, and he came for Akwamuhini, okay. and they signed in Anglaga here a tripartite alliance. Okay. You know that Shantis have no coastline. They tried their fanties, they refused to give them yeah. contact with the Europeans. Yeah. They tried their guns, they refused. And you know, they, they know you have coast. So they came to the Angola and we embraced them. Okay. So in 1865, they signed a treaty called Tripartite Alliance. Kokudo the first represented the Ashantis. Now he gave a sword of honor to the Abadada that there was a whole. Another condition which they entered was that because they don't want to fight one another, there should be Anglaga as a town established in Kumasi. Okay. So that's the place. Wow. And Kumasi established in Anglaga here. So Anglaga now, there is a place called Kumasi. Kumasi. But you people refuse to come and settle there. Okay. But you will, will, will settle in Kumasi. Okay. You understand? Yeah. And then there was a one sister of one of the Asantehinis mm -hmm. called Amasawa. Mm -hmm. Amasawa was put in a shrine here. Okay. And the, the, the Fertis priest married her. Okay. So they had descendants here. Wow. And her both family is a descendant of that Amasawa. Okay. And so that place was put there so that when they want to return to Ashanti, there is a place for them mm -hmm. in Anglonga. Okay. So this kind of relationship was long. Before. So when we ago. came to Akwasidai Festival yeah. in 2018, mm -hmm. we told the Ashanti people that this is not a new relationship, it's an old, old relationship. Okay. And the gifts we, we gave, we gave drink to cement the relationship. Yeah, relationship. We gave Charlotte. Okay. You know, Charlotte is used to season food okay. so that we can season the relationship so that it can be edible. Wow. You understand? Wow. So we gave salt, which is our gold to preserve the relationship. the relationship. So Anglo and Ashanti are war allies. Yeah. When we came, when Asantehini was coming from the Manchia, we were watching him. Okay. You know how he danced? They gave me palm front. Mm -hmm. He was dancing with the palm front. What does it mean? I'll ask you. Okay. Then they, for that word, they gave me a white handkerchief. Mm -hmm. But when you read the Anglo line, they gave me a gun. Meaning? We are war allies. Wow. We are war allies. Okay. And the white guy is just peace. You understand? Okay. And the green is life. That is our understanding. Wow. But I don't know whether that is our understanding for okay. the Ashanti. So, so um, since 1865, yes. there has been strong relationship, relationship between yeah. the two yes. states. Yes. Wow. Okay, so um, from 1865, this is the first time we are witnessing yes. an Asante Hene yeah. joining this celebration. Yeah. How did the Abu Mafia take the news? When did, how did they receive it? Oh, we. After the 2018 Aquasidae Festival, we invited him for the 2019 Hopoto, but he didn't come. Okay. But he, he came, he sent the chief who sits on the silver okay. stool. The man from Henry. Yeah, he, he came. Okay. So, to assure the Asante Hini that he didn't come because of a problem, unavoidable, he wanted to assure him by coming this time. Because when he didn't come, some people are saying it was just a, a camouflage that he would come. Okay. So when we received the news that he was coming, yeah. we are very much elated. Okay. We are very much uh, sure that he remembered mm -hmm. the relation between Anglo yeah. and Asante okay. during the time of his predecessor, Kokuda I. Okay. Wow. So um, how, how is the Anglo state preparing to receive the Asante any tomorrow? If there is any preparation to receive a king from a, another kingdom, you will see it tomorrow. The whole town is set. 
to receive the, the king of the Ashantis. Okay. And you know, there are only three kingdoms in Ghana. Yeah. The Anglo Kingdom, mm -hmm. the Ashanti Kingdom, and the Dagbon Kingdom. Okay. Because when the British came, they saw that you have the Awama fear, mm -hmm. like the Ashanti mm -hmm. Then below him, you have the Avadada. Yeah. Then below Avadada, we have the left wing commander, middle mm -hmm. wing commander, okay. and the right wing commander. So they, they had structures. So, well laid structures. Okay. Not like some states in yeah. Ghana where you don't know who is the chief. <laughs> okay. In our in our area, the, the, the father in the house is the chief. Okay. Then above him is the family head. Then above him there is the clan head. Then above him the Hanwa. Then above him the chief. Okay. And behind, below the chief, the uh, senior chief. Then the paramount chiefs. Then the divisional and the wing chiefs. Yeah. Then the Avadada. Then the Awa Mafia. It's a well laid structure. Okay. Um, so, what does this visit or this uh, participation of the Asante in a, uh, mean to the Anglo state and how is it expected to improve the uh, relationship that exists between these two kingdoms? The Ashantis and the Anglos to the uninformed are arch enemies. Okay. People believe that we don't see eye to eye. eye. But I can assure that if there is any friend of Ashanti's in Ghana, yeah. they are the Anglo people. Okay. And we want to show the world that the Anglos and Ashanti's are one. one. Even there was one traditional composer, and he put it in a word that he was going to Kumasi, print press town. His friends are there, people are there. He wants to seek for them. But in Kumasi, she had gone prepared to me. Anglo the same thing. That is Anglo's allies are the Ashanti. Nobody's going to fire at one another. A traditional man who did not read books knew this history and sang it pro uh, beautifully. It was called Toby Akpalo. Yeah. So the story was there for a very long time. But because it's having repeated, it has been repeated. People try to subvert the story okay. to pitch the Ashantis against the Anglos. Okay. But we are, we, are, we are very close. I'm not sure whether there is any other town mm -hmm. in Ashanti, in Kumasi area. We have Anglonga there. Yeah. Anglonga is a, is a town here. Yeah. I don't know whether there is another town in any part of Ghana which has a similar name. Sure. You no. Know? Okay. So that's very unique. Um, away from that, um, this, uh, we're going to witness pure culture. Yeah. Uh, are there any lessons that the youth of today can learn from what is about to happen tomorrow? We as Anglons have values. Okay. Truthfulness, forbearance, hard work. Okay. These are the things we stole to the future generation. And there is no other platform, better platform to install it than the Hobotosho Festival. If we will listen tomorrow, we'll be talking to them on the virtues of honesty. You don't have to rush for money. Money comes or money goes where he wants to go. If you, if you run away, it will run away from you. But if, if you um, prepare yourself for it, it will come to you. And money is not everything. There is something more important than that. That's a good name. When you die, you take your name alone. You don't take your wealth alone. Uh, yeah. So you want to instill these values in our people. There was a time people, even in the securities, they would tell they want Anglo people because of their honesty, hard work, bravery, and those things. And I can tell you there is no coup d'etat in Ghana without Anglo people. Yeah. They are very brave. They, they, what they believe in, they practice it. And it's only now that we are mixed up some of our children are born among other tribes. So our values are not well ingrained in them. They see money as if money is everything. And then they will not mind killing to make money. Our people didn't teach us that. I tell you that money is not everything. Good name is everything. With good name you can travel to anything. So one thing we are praying for is that the young people to survive then the Asian values of honesty, bravery, honesty, they should hold them dear. Okay. And that's kind of assured in the future.